Hey guys, I'm Lenny, and I'm still alive. I just had some trouble in my life. I've actually lost someone that I cared about, and I had to find a reason to live, I guess. <laughs> I still haven't found it, <laughs> but I won't give up on this game, and I'll keep, I'll keep developing it. And right now, I just wanted to say that I'll keep going, and there is not much in the game. I just um, made graphics for the health bar, thirst bar and hunger bar. I'm still not happy about that because I think there has to be some frame behind that and it can be improved. Especially given that I got another progress bar, which is like this one. And it's um, <laughs> quite a different uh, thing graphically. I didn't realize when I was creating these. I actually made them last night just to get me going. I wanted to pick a easy task for me that I can finish pretty soon and I can get back into developing the game. Um, I have changed the default locations for all the inventories so they don't overlap each other when you open them. And I've noticed there's a bunch of bugs um, from the transition to the new engine. I think most of them were related to containers. Let me build the crate and the cupboard maybe. Oh, there we go. Let's grab some few branches or whatever. All right. I think I cannot actually put anything into the basket. Yeah, it's like a trash bin right now. It deletes items. I think that's not intended. At least I hope so. Um, I need to go through my code and see what's wrong with that. And I think the crate was like for stacking items. But as I'm stacking them, there's no number, no count. The moving in and out works perfectly, but the number is not there. And that has uh, something to do with the new um, like new, new axis or swapped axis, I think the number is written elsewhere outside the drawn screen. So I'll have to find it and move it here. I, I think the cupboard was okay. Yeah, it seems like it. So I'm gonna address these two and then I'll probably move on and start adding new stuff. I still want to add like AI, um, pathfinding and so on. So there's a lot to do um, and I'm really looking forward to like creating a village. I want the player to start like small with nothing pretty much and then like build more and more and more stuff and then like in Factorio I guess um, automate stuff. So you might be able to find some I don't know um, captive in the in the cave there might be bandits right here and there might be a blacksmith um, tied up right here <laughs> and you will be able to save him and you can persuade him to join you and if he joins you you can actually build him a house he might be able to help you with that and then if you support him or give him the right resources he might start working for you and that's pretty much how I imagine the whole village thing that's how you are gonna build your village, I guess. You can, you'll be able to like capture people. You can force them to join you. You can pay them, I guess. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the idea of capturing people and like forcing them to work for you. <laughs> and um, I want to add more animals. And I'll probably have to rework a lot of the graphics because I didn't make them and. Uh, the person who made them is no longer with me, so I'll have to figure out a way to avoid any any issues with that. Um, I'm not forced to do that, because I don't intend to uh, like publish the game right now. Definitely not. <laughs> um, but later on I'll have to address that and I'll have to rework a lot of the, the graphics. But yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I haven't left actually. <laughs> I've been to Norway. Um, uh, I've been open sea fishing and it was really fun, really tiring. I have tried 
a lot of things um, since the the apocalypse that happened in my life and I've actually injured myself a lot um, on many occasions because I kind of stopped feeling pain <laughs> and um, when I was working out and playing squash and doing things I just broke my ankle, my wrists, my knee yeah <laughs> and lately uh, I've been playing Pokemon Go just to force myself to go, go outside and meet people I guess I've never met anyone actually but just the thought of being able to meet people that's probably what I am trying to do <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah I'm just rambling now um, alright I'm back and I intend to work on the game uh, more I will probably never give up this project it's like my long-term project um, from my professional life I have uh, added another job to my resume and I'm actually working two full-time jobs like simultaneously right now it's fun that I can actually pull that off and <laughs> I, I did that just to force myself to go outside or, or have something to do like force myself to do something because when I had nothing to do when I had only one job I had a lot of free time and that was actually killing me um, I'm still having problems with nightmares and shit and this helps a lot that this channel just keeps my mind um, occupied and that's what I'm aiming for and that's what I want to use the game for I want to keep my mind off the bad stuff and I'm gonna force force myself to enjoy all the good stuff I've created here alright I'm just talking and that's that's pretty good enough for now <laughs> um, see you guys next time and hopefully I'll add more stuff into the game see ya